You're still watching ways. National Coloring Day is celebrated on September 14th every year. It is a day to celebrate the simple joy of coloring. Coloring is a fun and relaxing activity that can be enjoyed by people of all ages. It can also be a helpful way to reduce stress and anxiety. I love this holiday. <laughs> we don't Did you do any coloring idea. today? <laughs> I, used to, I used to paint, right, as a kid. Um, the first time I, I, I realized that I could actually draw was mm. in Jesus 1. Mm. That Jesus 1 or Jesus 2, I can't remember. Um, our teacher, our, our final teacher had asked us to draw our fist. You know when they ask you, oh, draw your mm -hmm. fist. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I went back home. <laughs> to me, it was just like a challenge, right? I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me just do this. And I started. So when I started drawing, I realized that, oh, I can see that there are some dark places on mm. my on my I hand. So why not shade? So I shaded and did everything. Oh, wow. It looked so good. Even me, I was like, huh? So when wow. I went to class and I submitted, they gave me 7 over 10. Every other person got one, half, two. <laughs> oh, wow. And my teacher asked me, where did you learn? And I'm like, I don't know. Oh, it's been I, in there. I know. And since then, I started coloring. I started painting. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't need to even draw with a pencil anymore. Mm -hmm. I got like... Um, this watercolor mm. with brushes. Oh. My aunt, then I was living with my aunt, so she got me like my proper tools. Mm -hmm. So I would just stay on my cupboard and I would paint cartoon characters. And it was <laughs> so good. So whenever I painted, I would take it to school just mm -hmm. to showcase my work. But it died off. Why? I don't know. Because you but, let it die yeah. off. But, but I, I, I'm bringing it back. Oh, I'm, please uh, yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Personally, <laughs> I cannot draw or paint to save my life. <laughs> if, I mean, if they had told me to draw a fist, probably would have drawn a circle and then add two to it, which is like, this is a circle and this is the two lines in the circle, yeah. right? But there is this app that I love, I think it's Happy Color or so. They make it in such a way that they just draw like a flower or something and then they number different segments, different shades and stuff. So all you need to do is, if there are numbers five, eight and six are red, you need to tap the number you need to highlight the shape red, uh, red shade and then tap the numbers and just I mean it makes coloring interesting, interesting. for mm. dummies like us. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I can't wait to get back to it. I remember then even in TD I, I was so bad at TD. Agriculture to ask us to draw hole. I could not, right? Really? And I used to ask myself, huh? But I drew a face. I used to paint. How come I can't draw this? When I realized that was very good about yeah, biology our talent drawing. Is very different, right? Practice. The things that we are interested in yes. is, is that it's totally different. Yes. I showed well, what I used to draw as a back then in 2018, 2019. Yeah. And if I do say so myself, it's not that bad, though. It's not that <laughs> bad. But I plan to get back to it because mm. I'm trying to find more ways to have fun yeah. and more ways yeah. to, to. I didn't just find ways to be to relax after like mm -hmm. a stressful day at work or over the weekend. So ladies, what did you find for us in the news? Who do I start with first? Sanzi. Uh, okay, so um, this is for wine lovers. I'm pretty sure they would be crying right now. <laughs> so my news is, I was on CNN and I saw this uh, news update they had about uh, in the little town of Anadia in Portugal, there is a wine production company there. So um, for some reason, the two storage tanks that they have, I think it fell and exploded. And it ha each holds about 60,000 uh, worth of wine. Is it 60, yeah, 60,000 worth of wine. And so the two of them collectively would have been able to produce at least 3 million bottles of wine. So it exploded, and now in the town is like raining, flooding. We're experiencing wow. flood in Nigeria, at least in Lagos yesterday. And in that town, in Anadia, they're experiencing wine red wine flood. flooding. And I don't, I mean, nobody was harmed. But, I mean, for wine lovers, imagine just watching this wine flowing through. And it's, it's not like fresh wine. It's been there for a while. It just happened to have exploded. Imagine watching this wine and you can't drink it because it's flowing through the gutters. Wow. That's crazy. That's so sad. What a waste. Absolute waste. Okay. But yeah. I, can, I, can, I can tell you that if it was in Nigeria, we would have found a way to scoop it. Oh, yes. I told you now when we talk about yeah. this story. We will that have the next found day you will see people selling unbranded wines. Yeah, we would have found a way. <laughs> wine genius like that. And in human, how do you scoop wine from the gutters? Yeah. It's not even flammable. We're scooping things that are flammable. Yes. Actually, yeah. You've seen videos of people <laughs> scooping um, petrol. Petrol. No, but people scooping palm oil. Yeah, well, if you're scooping 
if you're scooping palm oil and petrol, pe petrol, you, you're not taking it inside. That's very risky. I do not condone it, but you're not taking it into your system. How about the palm and oil? palm oil, you cook it. Have you, you use it for cooking. But so wine it goes has alcohol. So. Wine has alcohol. Does that mean it kills off every bacteria or every maybe, possible maybe, thing to scoop alongside it in maybe. the gutter? You can go and boil it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it's just a total <laughs> waste. <laughs> oh no. Dela, what did you find for us? Okay, so I remember that um a couple of months ago I had taken um my what's in the news as um a breakout, um this um diphtheria. And now, um, FG raises task force as diphtheria spreads to 14 states. So let me just quickly talk about what it is. It is a highly contagious vaccine preventable disease, which can be fatal in 5 to 10 percent with higher mortality rates in young children. Um, the WHO's most recent risk and assessment of this outbreak in Nigeria has maintained that the risk is... Um, very high at the national level, but low at regional and global levels. And, um, sorry, that's the news. Okay, so diphtheria itself is an acute and highly contagious bacteria disease causing inflammation of the mucous membranes, formation of false membrane in the throat, which hinders br breathing and swallowing and potential um, leading to a fetal heart attack and nerve damage, which is caused by the bacterial um, toxin in the blood. Mm. So it's actually dangerous, and now it's in 14 states, and um, Lagos is one of the states. Lagos, um, Oshun, Federal Capital Territory, Nasarawa, Kaduna, Katsina, Yobe, Bauchi, Gombe, Berno, Zanfara, Jigawa, Plateau, and Kano. Um, I think the interesting thing for me is um, that um, at least the government is on top of it. Yeah. I mean, and they're raising awareness. You know, they're talking about it. Um, the task force is um, being set up by the federal government, and it has a, a um, partners from WHO, UNICEF. You know, so um, I'm very hopeful that um, we will be able to curtail this and. Um, I mean, people should go to primary health centers and then, you know, do the needful if they see that. I mean, at the, at the end of all this, you would know that um, one of the primary ways to, to, you know, mitigate against this is to ensure that you wash your hands properly. You try to stay within a clean environment. I know that's hard for some um you know, areas yeah. in the country, yeah. but at least let's just try because um, I'm not very sure that um, a, an outbreak, you know, a massive outbreak would be something that um, would be, we'll be able to manage properly. So let's just do what we can, try to stay safe and, you know, just... Yeah. Well, you know, my question right mm. now is, this new, in this my lifetime, mm. this my short, relatively mm. short <laughs> life, I've seen outbreaks and outbreaks and it's like when you get to the end of one, mm. another one comes up. Mm. When you get to the end of Ebola, mm. COVID comes up. Mm. When you get towards the end of COVID, diphtheria comes up. Yeah. And all this sickness, is it that they are, they are waiting in line to come up or is it that they go to mass mm. and then when, they, when they are back from mass, they come in with like new viruses or or when they, or the deeper they explore the sea, they explore one virus and then carry it to the surface oh, of the absolutely. earth. Absolutely, I don't understand. Absolutely, the more hasn't the, it been? Mm, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the the more we push the frontiers of evolution mm -hmm. and you know for the world to evolve, yeah, we keep um, going to new places. We go to outer space. We mm -hmm. go under the sea. There are organisms, there are bacteria, viruses that survive in those places. Mm. Sometimes we unknowingly bring them here to the surface here. Yeah. Mm. And again, don't forget that um, because of our eating habits, because of the ecosystem, our immune systems are very, very much compromised. Right. So we are very susceptible to a lot of these things. But the good thing is even that, at least we know, some of these things we are knowing. Imagine people just dropping dead yeah. and we don't even know why. And then again, I, I, I know that sometimes in procure in, in making vaccines for something, mm. you stumble on something. There is also that. So yeah. who knows? We, mm. we really During can't... tests and experiments. You really can't tell with, with all these mm. things. It's just 
God help us all. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you've seen the end of one, another oh, resurrection. Another one. Yeah. 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 Give me a break. Yeah. So for me, right, um, nationwide blackout. Mm. The power minister has said that um, the reason for the blackout that we're currently experiencing is from the explosion of the kanji. Oh, the kanji yeah. exploded? Yeah. Wow. So because of the explosion, kanji or jeba in north central Nigeria um, caused the fire to break out. Mm. So it's due to that fire, that's why we're currently experiencing this blackout. And um, I don't know how to feel about that. Because right now, the current price of fuel, so people have to now look for alternative. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I stopped buying diesel fuel a long time ago. Mm. So thinking about it now, I'm just like, ah. But I think so it's I let, let me update you. Actually. It's five eighty. So to prepare your mind, if you have to go oh, get, I just hope. I just hope it's fixed. I really just yeah, hope. I, yeah, I, I think hope it's, it's fixed. It's, it's, it's now. fixed. Mm -hmm. It's fixed on time. Like we we don't need this mm -hmm. with the current states of the country. Yeah, so, let's just manage the yeah. cars. So hopefully, now. hopefully by tomorrow. Yeah. All, this night, if I'm being very hopeful. I'm actually and getting an update that some people are starting to get yeah. light. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. different yeah. homes. Yeah. Oh, then if, if that's the case, then that means... Because it's an emergency. Yeah. I, I bet yeah. that's pretty much all they did today. Like, yeah. yeah. Working hard to get it fixed. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Thank you, government, I guess. <laughs> 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 we'll see you after the break. Then we'll dive into our topic for today.